interested in fuel, so I'm going to try and overlay this cord. This is a 0.5 amp rated cord from a shaver, an electronic shaver. But someone's actually cut it and modified it, so it fits in a figure 8 socket on a boom box. Which is a pretty naughty thing to do, because, uh, yeah, that's probably slightly overloading this cord running a boom box. It's maximum rated 0.5 amps, that's pretty much speaker wire, so I'm going to do a ballast setup. Just well now I'll have a short that out, have a heavier load in one end. Or just um yeah, plug a load into that, I'll see what happens. Might try that heater, constant ten amps, through a point five amp rated cord. Have a good smoke up. Okay, the was a bit isolated from Earth. Some heat bricks so I don't melt the plastic and start no fire. So there, yeah, let's plug it in. 10 amp load to a 0.5 amp loaded cord. 3, 2, 1. And there we go. Here's a little jumper at the end, a bit of copper wire. Okay, power off. A plug, just do a temperature check here. Oh, it is soft. Okay, it's going to. Power's on. There we go, starting to give way. Just readjust that so that not the plastic, so unplug. Oh, it's pretty warm now. This plug can be very dangerous. If you don't use a lot appropriate rated cord for your load, or an inappropriate flex for a particular load, this could be what results. You could start a house fire with this sort of thing, so let this be an educational video. For you, that, for you out there that don't know what, um, what wires to use for each load, so it pays a gay lot of specs on your plugs. Always use a correct rated cord for your correct load, and always use fuses and circuit breakers. Power's on. That's a cat meowing in the background, he always does that. Magic smokes not appearing yet, but it will. Hmm, not as quick as I thought it was going to be. Pop this small motor. Variac is a Pioneer cassette deck motor. Its brushes are just shot, you can hear it. It's only just working. It's popped. That took about 80 volts. Surge up to 80 volts of power unplugged. Didn't even get warm. Alright. That's all top and see if we can um, repair it, get it working again. Alright, there was a major reconnect the brushes. There wasn't much, really much to, uh, to see. The brushes just all um, mangled up, so I just straightened the back out, put it back together. And that's just an external case that the motor sits in. Let's see if it will go again. No. Completely dead. It's toast. Disconnect. Let's just do it here on camera. So pull this apart. Let me pliers. Had this apart before. You got a mean. Brushes are absolutely shot. And there's the windings. The rest is okay, just the brushes are shot. Popping something else. Okay, there was a little Mylar speaker. Oh. That barely took 10 volts and it popped. Okay, there was about the Variac ballasted for protection. Oh, see, that, that, that was about 24 volt solenoid.
290 volts. There you go. 280 volts AC to a 24 volt AC solenoid. Magic smoke's about to come out. There we go. Not a smoke for a little solenoid. There we go. Epic. That was a good one. Okay, viewers, let's... <coughs> okay, viewers, this is actually an irrigation solenoid. Automating irrigation patterns in your block, in your farm. It's a little piston that comes up in here. And it goes on like a hydraulic control valve. Kind of like what you see in Mythbusters. They're using to um, quick release air into a cannon. Well, this is a similar sort of um, valve. This actually controls part of the um, main solid, uh, water valve. And this just... um. Is controlled by a switch which controls controlled by a computer so you can switch your irrigation on and off remotely so yeah made by a Burmad model was s-390-3-r so your water goes in there it comes up through there lifts up and there allows a diaphragm to pop and your main um, uh, water flow is activated so if I can get this epoxy at the top, we can be able to see the warnings. Now that it's hot, I'll just dig it out with a nail or something. Try and dig it out and we can see it again sides. Okay, we also dug all the epoxy out. It's normally rock hard, it turns to a butter and soft and rubbery once it's heated up. There's a cap on there, and there's a set of warnings in there. This is a plunger assembly. As you can see, the heat has just caved it all in. Ruined it. It's expanded itself in there. So, yeah. Thanks for watching.